I flew on desk there back with the hanged man. Okay, so I know it's been a while, sorry for that. But here I am, I'm gonna go get the true ending, and then in the next one I will do the bad ending. So let's go. It says second play, because we, I had to play it all over again. And I am currently here, because here is where I think the extra scene start. Because when I click on this, for some reason... Okay, something's written on the floor. Demons are coming from the shower room, from the hallway, and now, even from this room. This place is hell. The screams of the dead echo here. The demons must be stopped at once. And then, normally I can walk, but now it says this. And there is an extra bonus scene. I didn't watch it. I skipped it so I wouldn't spoil myself. But here is an extra scene, so I'm starting from here. Will, if David didn't write this letter, then who did? Come to think of it, there's an opening quote, but not a closing one. Maybe there's, a, there's supposed to be more? David seemed like a nice person. He hadn't changed at all since then. And here is an extra scene, which I didn't watch yet, so I don't know when the extra scenes are. But I'm just gonna play, and if I see an extra scene that's different from the previous playthrough, I'll just show it. Alright. I'm at the grief. Oh, that's probably the dad. What are you doing there? Oh yeah, because oh yeah. Oh wait, I'm still young here. Oh yeah, but dad died at a young age, didn't it? Hey, there sure is. It's cute. I love so, David. Why are you here? Cause my dad died. Oh yeah, that's why I didn't know him yet. I see, David. I don't really get it. What does it mean he died? Did Dad go somewhere? Oh. He went above the sky, I guess. If I took an airplane, could I go see him? Oh, David knows Will is his brother, but Will doesn't know yet that David is the brother. I'm too scared to get on airplanes. Oh. There's no need for that. You'll meet him someday. It looks like the same graveyard from What's where like Keith's sky? son is. Can I get there too? It's a good place, but you can't be going there yet. Only good men can go there. Good Aww. men? Is Dad a good man? I don't know. Aww. Can you tell me something? What kind of person was your dad? Did he play with you a lot? Oh yeah, because yeah, David knows, he but he played with me all the time. Dad likes will. to fish. Oh. He takes me with him, but it's sort of boring. But <laughs> see, he drives me there, down to the lake, and I like cars, so it's really fun. No, oh, that's actually kind of sad because David knows. Then your dad must be a good man. Oh, that's actually sad for David. I'm sure, he's waiting for you there above the sky. Once you become an adult and a good man, it might be nice if you go visit him. Aww. Um, my name's Will. Actually, it's William, but everybody calls me Will. Who are you, mister? I'm David. I'm David. David Hoover. I'm your brother. <laughs> See you, Will. Oh, this is actually really sad. But it's nice to have more story now. It's it's nice. You get to know more about them. I didn't want to come to this conclusion either. Then David was the one who wrote this letter. That David was the one who wrote this letter. But I can't think of anyone else who could have. Keith seemed to know Bra David pretty well. He's, if he says David didn't write this, then that's probably true. Okay, so now I just continue, because right here I am again, and I have to uh, spray candy, so I'll just play until I see another cutscene that we didn't see before, and then you'll see you with me, and then so long uh, walking towards the end. I'm glad I can meet you. Will. Oh, no, Pop is here. Stop shaking. Damn, Pop is here this time. Last time I was just walking, you now Pop's this. here. You gotta do this. That's I really cool. Definitely do this. I love Pop. Yeah, show him, Will. That's show awesome. Show him how you're not a useless brat. I love him. That's cool. Now he's with me. Or, well, that part. Oh, hi. Hi. Will. Now he doesn't say it himself. Now Pop says it. 
Oh, I'm not Damn. this hallway again. Don't Damn it. Cry. Oh. Stop shaking. You can do this. You got to do this. I don't want to be here. Oh, you can definitely do this. Yeah. Show them well. Oh. Go show them how you're not a useless brat. Hey, asshole. Oh. You. You want to kill me, right? Go ahead and try, but I bet you can. Okay. I told you, you shouldn't use bad words. I really hate them. Oh, oh yeah? God. So what? You think I care what you like or hate? I'm not gonna play along with your shitty philosophy. I'm not like you. Will! You angry? Just try and catch me! Dumbass! Ooh, he's mad. This way, stupid! Oh, hi, Sophie. What are you doing here? Huh? I was so worried I couldn't help but come back, but I wonder if Will is still here. I hope he doesn't yell at me like, don't come back. He may be cowardly, but he can really get angry. Kind of cute in a small animal way, but... Hi! Oh my god! Uh, Mr. Keith? What happened? Those wounds! Oh, so that's how they got together so, again. Lend me a hand. I was wondering, how is Sophie all of a sudden in the woods there? So that's how. Huh, that's interesting. Will! Oh. What? Oh, it's just a flashback. Huh. Aww. Ah, uh, jeez, I can't stand to watch this. Don't cry. Bob! Is somebody there? Over here, Will. Oh, that's the first time you met Bob. Mr. Rat, you can talk? Hey, Will, why are you crying? Oh, that's awesome! It's been a while since Dad died, but I still get really lonely sometimes. I think maybe... I'll never see Dad again. Hey now, what's crying going to do for you? Your dad's just gone on a long journey. You'll definitely meet him again someday. To get ready for then, you gotta be a real good man, Will. Aww. A real good man? But just the name of the achievement and first ending. I was just thinking about how he could escape from this cage, but I'll put that off. I'll be someone you can talk to for a while. Aww. So don't cry all by yourself, Will. I love Bob. <laughs> Your stories are always really funny. Oh, Billy talked to me a lot too, but it's a lot more fun talking with you. Oh, Aww. Billy, eh? Of course that old man's preaching is boring. Come <laughs> to think of it, I haven't seen Billy since you came. Or Mime, or Murdoch. Or misery? Yeah, they won't be coming back no more. Because I sort of came in their place. Aww. What do you mean? Meetings and farewells come in sets. And it'll be the same for me. Someday I'll leave your side. You're Aww. going away? Of course. After all, I'm a world-traveling super rat. Can't just sit still in one place. I'll stick with you for now because you're pitiful. But I'm planning to set out again soon. No, but I don't want that. Don't go. I don't want to be alone. No, that's really sad. I'm lonely. Dad left me without saying anything. Mom might do the same thing. And people say I'm a weirdo who talks to nothing. I have a few friends at school, but I don't have any friends I could tell the truth to. I'm scared. That someday I'll be really, really alone. Oh, that's really that sad. Happens. What should I do? Oh, I'm Will, sad now. Will, Will, Didn't I tell you? You gotta be a real good man. A real good man knows there are hellos and goodbyes. He takes action and tries to see the world for himself. Sure, there's a lot of people who will leave you. But there'll be a lot of people you meet, too, see? I love Bob. He's awesome. 
Hey, Will, you realize that? You're a real clever guy. You're not just a scaredy cat. You're super sensitive to your feelings and changes around you. You think hard about even the smallest things. That is exactly me. Exactly. You try to figure out what happens and why it's that way. And you give it a name and make it yours. Those are your treasures, the essential pillars of your world. How old is Will Once, here? Whatever you do, those pillars crumble. You gotta get new ones, or else you can't keep up with the world. You gotta meet lots of people, experience lots, and keep your world fresh. Do that and you'll never be alone. Is he like five here or something? I don't know. So listen, Will. You should never despair all alone. You can't hide in your own world. When you're uneasy, you could always remember me, the super rat who gives your little self courage. Pop is awesome. I love him. I love him so much. I know. Aww. I know, Pop. I knew this moment would come for a long time. No, oh, he's gonna say goodbye. It's time for us to part. No! I know that, but I hope you forgive me for still clinging on to you. It's just, I wanted to say goodbye. Aww. That's really sad. Does your injury still hurt? Oh, I'm gonna be super, super sad. It's. Ah. Uh. Maybe it hurt. Not in front of a child, honey. Okay, I'm gonna skip this until we get the next scene because you've already seen all He's of this trying. before. Let's talk a little. And don't run this time. Got it? Okay. All right. Oh, I was actually expecting there to be more. <laughs> okay. Oh! Here's more. Thought you quit smoking. This is my last one. Yeah? Seems he found this in his dad's possessions. Figured he didn't need it anymore, so I took it. This is what got him to come here. You wrote this letter, didn't you? Did he? Why do you think that? It's your writing. But you said he, it wasn't his writing. My writing. On the paperwork for the world's worst tour. Got a chance to see it after the fact. <laughs> because the rules. <laughs> because of the last game, Boogeyman. Why'd you write this to him? Were you trying to threaten him? He seriously wrote it? You got one out of three. Yes, I'm the one who wrote that. But not to William, but then. I didn't mean for it to be a threat. And most importantly, it wasn't addressed to Will. It was to my father. Oh. I really resented my father. I was 14 at the time. I couldn't forgive him for abandoning my frail mother. Oh. But one day, when he sent pictures of his child, I had a thought. Sure, I resented my father, but was there any reason to resent this child? You're a demon child. Someday, you'll be burning in hell for your sins. Oh. That's only the first part. But you're blessed, because you had a blessed child. Your child gave you light, showed you the way. Go on, you pitiful man. No one's going to blame you anymore. Why didn't you write the rest of that? It's a quote from Detective Crawford. Specifically, the Hanged Man episode. My father uh -huh. liked the show and watched it with me. I figured he would know the line, so I didn't even need to write the rest. But I did include the card as a hint. Oh. Okay, that makes sense. Any child should be blessed. They shouldn't be burdened with their parents' sins. I love David. These are words of celebration only he would understand. I just hesitated to write the celebratory part. It was sort of meant to be playful. I'm sure my father must have understood it. That's why he held on to it. Why'd you call his mother? It was about money. The money my father left before he left home. I hadn't touched it the whole time. I set aside some for my mom's funeral, but there was a lot left. Then, I remembered Will. Still in junior high, so I thought he might need money soon. 
Shirley told me I could do what I wanted with it, too. Wow, David is really sweet, I swear. Before that, I wanted to tell Will about her father, so I called Cindy, but she refused me. She said it was too soon to tell Will what his dad did. Damn. But I talked with Cindy again earlier, and she understood. Because when Will finds the path he wants, she doesn't want him to have to give it up because of money. You can just take the inheritance, you know. You're bound to need it sometime, too. Will needs it more, maybe. I don't know. It's simple. I felt like I should support my family with the money I earn, not my father's money. Okay, I can see that, yeah. That's a nice thought. Maybe in spring, I should invite him to a baseball game or something. And if I went with Will to visit his grave, I wonder what our dad would think there in the afterlife. I'm sure he'd be happy. This is really cool, these extra scenes. It's about time for Will to take off. Not going to see him off? I talked with him plenty earlier. I'm fine. Right. Me? I'm not sure what I'll do. What's the matter? It doesn't feel good keeping secrets from kids. I get the urge to tell them the truth. What about what? I don't think telling the truth is always a good thing. Especially when it's to a kid. Depends. Guess so. I wanna know why! Oh, the dead rats! Aww! That's the dead rats. The one Robert stomped, right? Or was- Or wasn't that Bob? No, that's why the rat didn't talk. I'll go on ahead. Oh no, isn't that the real pop he Mom? gave back? Sorry. Um, we have already Steve seen this. Now. Sorry to butt in, you two. There's what Keith again. I'm sorry we couldn't find your rat. Oh, that's different. It's okay. Aww. Pop told me all the time. I'm a world-traveling super rat. Can't just sit still in one place. But why did you see it the first time then? He stayed with me because he pitied me. But maybe he thinks better of me after this. Aww. So I'm sure Pop set out on his way. I'm guessing Pop won't come back. But maybe somewhere far away we'll meet again. Hopefully. It's really sad to think of it as a final goodbye. But by the time we meet again... I'll be a good man who he won't be ashamed to call his friend. Aww. <laughs> right. That sounds good to me. Cold out here. But then, why why did he have the dead rats that Robert stomped in his car? David that wasn't Pop, right? Himself. He wants to go to a baseball game with you. So come back in spring. I hope that wasn't Pop. Give me a call when you come visit. I'll tell you all the good places in town that aren't those creepy ones. Maybe it was Pop because he said he should tell him the truth and... oh no, that would mean Pop would really have died. But the the red in the scar looked like the red that Robert stomped because it was covered in a handkerchief and whatnot. Did okay. you tell me Pop died? Thank you. That would be really sad. That can't be a good ending, come on! Oh man. No, Pop isn't here. That isn't a good ending! That's sad! Wait. Oh, that's- Is that Pop? <laughs> oh my god! That's super cute! Oh, That's really cute! Okay, I'm glad he didn't die. Oh my god, that's cute! Sometimes I like to imagine. The tiny little rat, his tiny little body full of big dreams. Going anywhere and everywhere on his journey. Good end too! Tiny rat journey! Oh my god, that was so cute! Yay! Okay, let's wait for this. Hi William and Pop! Oh, that's so cool! This is so nicely done! Oh, that's awesome! I really liked it. Oh! <laughs> Look at how cute that is! <laughs> that is so cute! 
Oh my god, I love that! <laughs> oh, oh, that's really cute! I love Pops so much! Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> oh my god, I love this! This extra is really well done! That's super cool! Oh, no! Run, Pop! Run! Oh my god, no! <laughs> He's faster, thank god! Tiny Red Journey is sure is. That's super duper cute. Author Yuri, there you have it. But it's not finished yet because we have the bios. That's still gonna be something and I will this time read all of them. Not skip three persons like I did in the Boogeyman. Achievement unlocked. Tiny Red Journey. Yay! Okay, what's all this? Congratulations on getting the second good ending. As a bonus, there are character bios, descriptions of the other games in the series, and messages from the voice actors. Please enjoy it. Once again, thank you for playing the Hank Man. Okay, let's save that on this file. Okay, what's this? A few character bios. No, not yet. I want to see these, because these are from the other games. Uh, view the semi summary and comments. Hold on, I will do the Crookman first. The Boogeyman... The Crookman. View the Crookman summary and comments. The Crookman summary. David Hoover. You already know this because probably you watch the other ones, but I don't care. David Hoover, disheartened by a number of misfortunes, moves into a new apartment suggested by a friend. Witnessing strange occurrence as he lives there, he follows the trail of the previous owner. Comments. The origin of the story was a trip my brother took to Tohoku. To, summari to summarize, he came back haunted by a ghost and met several misfortunes. Then I went to Tohoku to hold a memorial. I hesitated to make a game out of it directly, so I took out the unconsciously calling each other angle and devised the story. At this point, I had plans up to the hanged man, but I figured I would get bored and not make it to a fourth game. Which has now become a good memory. David's name was borrowed from a, from a certain actor. He hints the Green Mile. Aha! Uh -huh. His mother's name never appeared, but it's Rachel. Many people s said they liked this game, so when making the Sandman, I was quietly sweating about whether I would be disappointing them. Okay, the Sandman. The Sandman, Wolf RPG editor. Honor student Sophie spends her day sleepless from the pressure pressures around her. Bullies family friends. One night, as she as she prays and tries to sleep, she noticed everyone else has fallen asleep, and she heads out into town to find Goss. The first game was solemn, so I thought I'd get a lot more wild with this one. I feel like it maybe went wild in a bad way, but as a creator I had lots of fun. This game was themed around a certain metal song titled Sandman. Some of that song's lyrics appear, appear as lines and ending titles. Sophie is an honor student, so I gave her a name meaning wisdom. And since the Sandman is German, I originally intended to make her family German, hence her father's name being Richard. I don't like drawing much, but I had a lot of fun drawing the fairies. By the way, the cafe worker and Sophie's tarot loving friend both originate from the Sandman. They're Regan and Anne. The details of Anne liking tarot was from the games was for this game's sake. Okay, that's really cool de details. The boogeyman. Cool-headed detective Keith Barron takes his wife Elena of a tour of on a tour of an old castle at his use but at, at his boss suggestion. As he remains turned with the tour attendees, Elena suddenly suggests divorce. He wakes up in the middle of the night to find his wife missing. A game made to be like a B movie. At the same time, I took on another challenge of making it fully voiced. Thanks to the voice actors, I think it's rather it's a rather lively game. Since I made the difficulty absurd, it took a long time to make, and even I snapped on making it. After the game, I vowed to never make super difficult to to make to never make another super difficult game. I depicted the bearings that David slash Shirley as contrasting couples, shielding each other, versus back to back and trusting each other. I hadn't showed such relationships in prior games, so it was a fun experience. By the way, you'll see if you look at the illustrations that Keith wears both rings in his game too. Go look for it if you have the time. Well, I won't do that, but that's really cool. What's this? Enter the voice actors' rooms. Do nothing, I'll do that later. Few character biomes. William Morton, age 14, protagonist. David's a little brother from another mother. Cowardly, but he can get angry. Very sensitive and imaginative. His dad died when he was six, so he lives with his mother. I wasn't far off, I thought he was five. Since talking to the ha since talking to the hanged man, he became able to converse with strange entities, strongly distrusts other people, and doesn't speak his thoughts even to his mother or friends. Saved Pop from a mousetrap in an elementary school and has been with him since. By the way, he figured if he got a call from his mom, he'd chicken out and come back home, so he left his phone at home. Oh. Bob, age unknown, a self-described world-traveling super rat. Apparently travels the world, so he knows a lot. Will's best friend who he rescued from a mousetrap. When he got caught, his right leg got 
a little crooked and some fur came off. He te teaches Will various things from a place of experience. Edward Hayes, age 23, a young man with a stutter, has a gently personality and likes animals, but he trusts in rules of his own devising and snaps when they're violated. At a young age, his alcoholic father lost his jobs and lost his, lost his job and they were driven out of their rented house, so they stayed at Deepwood Shelter for about a year. After killing his father, he hid there with his brother's help. After his, his arrest, he's charged with a third degree murder and receives a 10 year sentence. Aww. I feel so bad for for Ed. Aww. Robert Hayes, age 27, Edward's older brother. Nervous but thoughtful of his brother. Has a habit of looking away from people when he lies. After graduating middle school, he got a job at a factory to escape his violent alcoholic father. He's currently mar married and his wife's pregnant. Since he left Ed behind with their father, he blames himself for the murder. And this wanted to somehow let Ed go free. After Ed's arrest, he's found guilty of aiding his escape and gets three years of hard labor. Keith Perry, age 38, the boogeyman's protagonist, a detective in the Larson CN homicide division. Calm and not faced by anything with a sharp tongue. He's married and his only son died in a traffic accident. Traffic accident. David, David occasional drinking occasional drinking buddy. Also a client of Sophie's father, so he's involved with the family. Assigns investigation of the murder of Edward's father. He went to search of Edward's whereabouts. Tracing his history led him back, led him to Deepwood's hospital, where he decided to look for clues to track him down. Sophie Grundler, age 18, the Sandman's protagonist, a college student, smart and cheerful. She works with her friend Regan at Mary's Kitchen. In the past, her heart was broken by David, but she now gets along with him as a friend. Her father works at a, at a credit company, and Keith is his, is his client, so they interact, but often quarrel, as he seems, as he says, means mean things to her. Sorry for all the stuttering. David asks her to help look for Will. And she finds her way to Deepwood's hospital thanks to the witness accounts. David Hoover, age 28, the crookman protagonist. Will's older brother from another mother. He's kind but unlucky. His father had an affair and a child, so he divorced, so he divorced and died six, year, six years after Will was born. He lived with his mother for a long time, but she died from a brain tumor. He's married, but during this game, his wife is not abroad training, the, abroad training for work. His, his wife is out, out abroad training for work. Friends with Sophie, the two of them... And his wife all get along well. Knows Keith from a prior incident and now occasionally goes drinking with him. Cindy Morton, age 36, Will's mother. A novelist, but she gives English lectures for foreign foreigners as a side job. Barely gets by, though she has a hard, hardy personality, so she's managing. When she married David's father, she didn't know he had a wife and child and only learned everything once he died. When she talked to David over the phone, she didn't want to tell Will about his father and thus refused David's offer to pay for college. But this is resolved at the end of the game. Okay, so now all that's left is the Enter Voice Actors Room. And it's probably gonna take a while because there's a lot to talk to. Holy crap. Let's do that again. Okay, let's talk to them. Will. Hi, my name's Morty, and I had the honor of playing Will in this game. Before I talk a little bit about my involvement with the Strange Event series and the Hanged Man specifically, I'd like to tell you a short story. Before now, I've never voice acted in a more professional setting. The closest I've ever gotten to any of it is sitting in dark rooms playing games with my friends. Sort of a tradition. We boot up a small game, and whoever's there participates by giving a character or two a voice. It became one of our main ways to bond as a group. Over the years, we've done that a lot. My friends were impressed by what I was able to do, but I figured I'd never really have a chance getting a real role. So, up until now, I just did it for fun. The jump from just a fun to playing the main character was huge, but I was so excited and humbled by the fact that someone saw me a weirdo with dubiously absent gender, way too much time on their hands, as main character or material. The prospect of being able to play this game with my friends and show them how far I've come is thrilling, and I'm beyond honored to have been given this chance. That's Which brings cool. me to my place in The Hangman. I've watched and played the Strange Men series since at least 2013, and I was eager to see what the next installment might be. I saw V2 Persons link to the auditions page at some point, and I was intrigued. At the urging of my friends, I thought there was nothing to lose by sending in a couple of additions and seeing what happened. I didn't think anything was going to come of it, if I'm being honest, because I was going to enjoy the game no matter what happened. Imagine my surprise, waking up one morning before class to see an email from Udi, not only seeing that I landed the part as Will, but I was almost directly aligned with her vision. Again, it was humbling. And in that moment, I made a commitment to myself and everyone involved. I was going to bring it as the most emotionally unstable, relatable 14-year-old boy I could be. 
I'll never be sure of people's impressions until after the fact, but just knowing that I brought my A-game into this project makes me proud of the work I've produced. You should. That's really awesome. And here we are. Hundreds of lines and countless hours spent in a tiny booth later. Despite technical issues of school equipment, threats of getting sick, stresses to my busy college schedule, I've made it to the other side. I'm proud of the work that everyone's done. In closing, a sincere thank you to Udi for believing in what I brought to the table and giving me a chance. I also have additional thanks for VG Person for all her hard work in translating and bringing games to English speakers, and the cast of The Boogeyman and The Hangman for giving it all they've got and inspiring me to do the same. Right now I'm prepping a lot of new social media accounts for more public face as a content creator, but I'll be putting out some extended thoughts about my role as well and my involvement with The Hangman at some point. You'll be able to find a link to that and other things at Morty K on Twitter. I'll also eventually make a video about the Strange Men series and how I think it all connects, so I hope to see you all very soon. That's really cool. Oh, that's really cool. And I know this episode's gonna be long, but this time I will take time to get to all of them instead of le leaving three people out like I did in the Boogeyman. Sorry for that. Hello, and congratulations on making. I love his voice! <laughs> you must be quite the gamer. I love his My voice. My name is Louis Bedelmont. I'm an up and coming actor and writer. If you're curious about me, I've also written a book called Tales I Grew Up With, The Grandparents, that you can find on Amazon.com and I'm highly involved with a fun online series called The With Voices Project, which you can find out more about on TV Tropes. That's cool. Additionally, I do live action acting. I'll be playing the role of Taurus in an upcoming web TV series called Beyond Scope. But that's probably enough self-promotion. Were you expecting that Pop would be used in all the ways he was used in the story? I sure wasn't. First he was made to be Will's mouthpiece, then Will chased him all throughout that old abandoned building like Alice chased that white rabbit in Wonderland, <laughs> and finally he became Will's cheerleader. Pop's just the most versatile rat ever. Yep. Say, which of Uri's Strange Man series did you like best? Besides The Hanged Man, my other favorite is her first one, The Crooked Man, but that's yep. just me. Almost a pity that this will be the last installment of the Strange Man series, but I'm sure Uri has gotten even greater ideas in store. Can't wait to see them in the future. Same. For me, it's um, uh, um, the Crookman, the Boogeyman, the Hangman, the Sandman. I, I didn't really like the Sandman compare if you look at the story-wise, but besides that, it was really cool. Hello, everyone. I'm Ro. Hi, Congratulations David. Congratulations on clearing the Hangman. I hope you had as much fun playing as I did recording. I really wasn't expecting David to show up in this new game, but I'm very happy to reprise my old role. If you played the Boogeyman and got to the bonus room, you may have listened to my message there. Yep. I said I might start a YouTube channel and voice the Crooked Man, which is the game that David stars in. The channel hasn't been fleshed out yet, and I haven't made any content. I apologize. I still plan to do both of these things, but real life is pretty busy. I hope eventually I can do something that you, our gracious audience, will enjoy. If you'd like to contact me, or would like for me to do some voice work, or would just like to send me some comments, feel free to send me a message or comment on my YouTube. My skeleton of a channel is R-O-U-K-U-R-O, -U -U and this time I promise I'll actually respond. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Alright! Hey there, thanks for playing The Hangman. I'm McCory, and I provide the voice for Cindy Morton. In I thought she was now, the same as Shirley. This, I was actually also providing another voice for a different RPG horror game called Kego Totori. You may know me as the voice behind Hotaru, who is a completely different character from Cindy in almost every single way possible. But I might I check that out. That Cindy justice. Now, if you haven't already, please go show Uri some support, not only for the Strange Men series, but any other projects they work on in the future. Having worked with RPG Maker myself, it is definitely more difficult than it looks, and to see such a well-continued series progress this way is just very inspiring and very interesting. So, again, I hope you go show them support, because they definitely deserve it. So once again, thanks for playing. I honestly thought that this was the voice actor of Shirley, but then done differently. For some reason, I don't know why. Hi there! Thank you so much for playing The Hangman. Did you have a great time? I hope you did! I'm Jess, and I provide the voice for Regan in this game. This is my first time recording for an RPG horror game, and it was such a treat. I'm so thankful to be a part of this wonderful project, and I wish the best for everyone in the cast and to Udi on all their future projects that is to come. And a special thank you to Angie. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be here right now. So thank you, Angie. Aww. A good way to reach me is at my public Twitter account, r4b3ndr4in which also is Ravenbrain. I usually post all projects that I'm in there. Anyways, 
Catch up for now, guys. And once again, thank you so much for playing the hangman. Yes. Sophie! Hi there, guys. It's me, Chocolate, the voice of Sophie. Congrats on beating the game. I hope you had a good, spooky time playing it. I'm really glad to be in another game in this series. And I'm really excited to play the finished game. Thanks to Udi for making these games, and VG Person for translating them, and all the other voice actors in the games, because you guys are really, really great. Um, I've actually been working on it for a while, but didn't mention it before, so I'll say it here. Um, I'm also working on a game. It's called Dollhouse, and it's, um, kind of a surreal adventure game. It's taking a while since I'm trying to make most of the resources myself, but it's definitely coming along. Anyway, if you want to reach me, I have a Twitter, Art Tumblr, DeviantArt, and a Facebook artist page, and the usernames on all of those are Choco Chocolate. Also, I really love rats. I felt the need to say that because I had to pretend that I was disgusted by a rat when I, in fact, am the opposite of disgusted by rats. I love them. Thank you. Okay, bye. I also love rats. I really like them. Hello. I'm MCB Actual, though you can call me Al. And I voice the fishing store clerk in the hangman. Though, I should say I've always had terrible luck with fishing. The only fish I ever caught was using a bit of cheese, but I digress. About three years ago, I was introduced to my first RPG horror game, Mermaid Swamp. I want to play that too, now, that's also made by Yuri. Games later, I'm extremely grateful that my first attempt at voice acting was for one of Uri's works. In a way, things have come full circle. Though it's probably a circle of horror, monsters, and bad endings. You're, uh, Yuri also made Mermaid Swamp, which I, which I will try to play in the future too. Anyhow, I'd like to express my deepest thanks to Uri for making this all possible, to VG Person for their impeccable translations, and to you, the player, for coming along for the ride. You can find me hanging around, pun intended, on YouTube and Twitter as MCB Actual. So feel free to swing by and say hello. And so, thank you for playing The Hangman, and have a wonderful rest of your day. Or night, depending on when you're playing the game, I suppose. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey there. I'm JT Elmslice, or Jamie, whatever you like. I dabble in a bunch of creative stuff like YouTube junk, the occasional dumb game, music, and now voiceover. I saw a friend post about the auditions and thought I'd throw my hat in the ring. I researched the Strange Man series beforehand and thought they were really cool. I'm really happy to be a small part of this rad series. This is actually the first project I've been a part of as a voice actor. It's a huge honor. I hope to be a part of Uri's projects in the future too. Anyway, if you want to see what I'm up to, Twitter is the best bet, at JT Home Slice. I'm JT Home Slice pretty much everywhere else too. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the game and I'll see you next time. Peace. Hello, this is Teach. I am the creator of the With Voices series, which takes games like these and gives them voices. So you can imagine my surprise when I actually get to take part in a game like this. I am very fascinated with the Strange Men series and have always been looking forward to the next installment in the story. I have always loved how one installment leads to the other, and at the same time the way each one is a unique story with a different kind of strange man. It's been an honor and a pleasure to take part in this final installment of the Strange Men series, and I love the aspect of a fully voiced game. I'll gladly try out for any future game Uri tries to make. By the way, for those of you who are wondering about my work, I've done Mogiko Castle with voices, The Great Garden with voices, and Garden Great The with voices. I'm currently working on Undertale with voices, Genocider, and Secret of Mana Theater with voices, and one of these days I'll tackle the Crooked Man with voices and the Sandman with voices. Hmm. Though I wonder what I should do once I reach the Boogeyman with voices. Hmm. Okay, this probably... I have a message from the translator, Fidget Person, who has a huge help on the translation from front this time. Fidget Person first translated the Crooked Man and has hel since helped enormously with the other three. Hi, it's Fiji Person. Just like the Boogeyman, I translate this game in advance so that Yuri could recruit English voice actors. After the rough learning experience that was the Boogeyman, Yuri took a different approach to the voice acting this time. She completely, she completed the whole rest of the game first, then handed the voice acting. I think this made life easier for everyone. Yuri could just focus on the game before worrying about recording. And my work and the voice actor's work wasn't spread out out over such a long period of time. Also, rather than just scripts, we could use the finished game as a reference. 
being able to translate with full context as I usually can helped me a lot and I think the voice acting benefited too. I was I was glad to help Yuri conclude the Strange Band series, the series that led me to her in the first place. I look forward to helping her with future end of wars. Or whatever. Arf, bark, growl, howl, one and wolf. Which is your favorite dog noise? I'm quite partial to whining and whimpering myself. Hello to you and congratulations on making it into yet another one of Uri's Games Bonus Rooms. I hope you had fun, or if you were watching someone else play through that you enjoyed the story at least. My username's Altepeja Loco, but you can call me Loco. My real name is Francisco Loco Villalos, but don't bother remembering it. <laughs> Aren't Uri's Games great? I'm not attempting to suck up here. I genuinely love that aspects of real-life drama, psychological horror, and potentially unexplained supernatural events all coexist in Hair the Blank Man series. I auditioned for a lot of the adult male roles very close to the deadline, so I was kind of surprised that I was contacted to take even a single one of them. It ended up being Old Man E, I think, and I had to submit a lot of weird takes for said role. So when I found out that it was for old Billy, a dog, I thought that Uri must have wanted one of my deeper, gravelly attempts. So I recorded my lines like that. Except it turns out she actually liked a different take for that role. <laughs> I only learned this around the time the area where I live in was particularly noisy due to a city fair and lots of rain. Needless to say, at the time I'm recording this, I might still be about to make a third alternate take because I can't seem to reproduce the wheezing voice she wanted perfectly anymore. <laughs> I have no idea how I did it during my audition. Anyway, I'm not a professional by any means, in fact I'm unemployed. I like to make games, but mostly I'm known for drawing, animating very slowly, and talking over video games whilst mishearing other people. I have no idea if players who see this room have seen every ending, but hopefully you have because I'd like to maybe speak with those players right now. I haven't the ones watched them yet. An ending with old Billy. Everyone else, close your eyes and cover your ears, okay? So la 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 You'll get to see that in the next video because I haven't done that yet. La 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 I'm probably really annoying that I do this. I'm just gonna skip that. Why didn't I think of that before? Good dude. Anyway, hope you're all happy and well. See you. I didn't think before why didn't I just press the enter button yeah I, I, I put a big box in front of there so you don't see it I actually didn't read what he just said so I have no idea what's about that but there's an ending with old Billy I'm really curious to find out in the next episode thank god <laughs> I didn't think of just pressing enter but okay um, I'll, I'll check that ending in the next episode of course but I didn't read what he just said so I have no idea what he just said so hey I'm Leanna so I'm Hi. Well, some of you know me as Ringer. I also make uh, pixel horror games, and I don't know if you've heard of them, but um, I call them the UX series, and currently in progress is Flux and Lux. And um, I've been a huge fan of Udi's games, and well, <laughs> I only played the Crooked Man, and. I counted how many times I died, and I died approximately 33 <laughs> times. And I was using a walkthrough. It took me about two hours to get through it. <laughs> but, um, even though I'm a horror game enthusiast and a horror game creator, I really like voice acting, and I wanted to try out for this game, and I thought it would be fun. I didn't think I would be able to, um, be accepted into the game as an actual voice actor so I woke up one day and I saw that I received a message from Uri and I was crying <laughs> I was crying because I was so excited to be part of this project so um, I hope you enjoyed the game I'm pretty sure this is the end of the game and uh, I hope you enjoyed my performance. Keep an eye out for my own games too. I'd appreciate if you would play some of them. And I'll the check future, them out. I hope that you'll see me in even more games. Thank you. No problem. Congratulations on completing The Hanged Man. Can I make some clap sounds? You did it. 
<laughs> so, what ending did you get? Good? Bad? Or does this room only appear in the good one? Well, you'll know, I guess. So, how's it going guys? I'm Stry Hiryu, a Let's Player on YouTube. I have been looking forward to this game ever since the Boogeyman, and I have been keeping an eye out if it's also gonna have voice acting. So when I saw that auditions were up, I went for it and got a part. It's an extra, but still happy that I got a voice in. It's also my first time to actually voice act in a game. Even though I didn't have that many lines, I still tried my best and hoped it turned out great. I had some fun doing them. Thank you, Yuri, to let me have a part. Well, enough talking to me. Talk to the other voice actors. Hi, I'm Matti Mali. I'm also known as Hedonistic Actor around the webs. I have a YouTube channel. There's some of my reviews about Finnish movies and my own creative efforts and stuff I haven't published there in a while. But hopefully by the time this game has been published, there's more stuff. But yeah, I haven't uh, played any of the strange men games before but i knew they had a reputation so when my fellow voice actor teeds uh, provided a link to this casting call in a skyrim group we both are in uh, i decided to give it a try if i could uh, leave my mark on something that is downloaded by i don't know thousands maybe so yeah, thanks to Uri for having giving me this opportunity. And uh, even though my role as a model owner wasn't that big, I made those six lines count, damn it. <laughs> yeah. Mm, well, I, when after completing the recording, I did play the other three games and <laughs> Yeah, they had their own problems, it's one of them, I could go more detail. But I want to say that uh, what uh, is common to all of those three is uh, strong writing and great feelings and uh, almost makes you cry kind of a hefty drama. So I really dig the writing and many of the characters the series has to offer. Well, because I had a su such a small role, this, role in this in uh, during one scene, uh, I can uh, go most of the hanged man by blind, so it's going to be an interesting experience for me as well once this game is released. So, hopefully I will enjoy it as much as you do. But I... Guess I could tell something about myself. Okay, I'm not gonna go um, through all of that, so you can pause and read done this. Voice acting okay. Before. Or else it takes too long for that, so I'm not gonna go through all of that, but just the main stuff. Hi, I'm Starleader or Arian, and I am the voice of Young Will. Is that a chick? I'm finishing the second playthrough of the game. <laughs> Yay! Hmm. I was really excited when I found out I would voice in the Hanged Man, as I have loved the Crooked Man series, and I remember playing all sorts of RPG games with my cousins and reading aloud the lines for the voiceless characters. I'm really happy that ten years later I'm still doing it, but on a more serious level. I found that voicing Will when he was young was different from voicing other younger versions of characters as these types of characters are commonly shown to display a contrast between before and after a major event. But this young Will is shown to you while he's going through that major change and still trying to understand and find his way in the situation. So he's caught between a time of innocence but also a time of acceptance and growth. A lot of other young boys I have voiced were still stuck in that innocent and naive time of their lives and I would make it a focus to sound really cute and clinging to that side. Will is young and still has much to learn but he's also trying to understand where his life is heading. That really defined an important goal to me to grasp his innocence but still show his struggle to find his way out of this storm. Ah, I really love Will and seeing everyone's work made me really honored to be a part of this team. I hope you enjoyed playing and thank you so much for listening. No problem. Now we have Ed. Hi, Ed. Hey there. I'm not one for speaking much about myself, but I love congratulations it. on finishing the game. And I love his voice. I hope that you enjoyed playing it as much as I enjoyed participating in the voice acting. 
This is my first ever voice acting experience, and I hope that everything on my end was good enough to immerse you. Yeah. I want to thank Uri for giving me such a great opportunity to experience something so new to me, as well as my girlfriend for letting me know that voice acting auditions were occurring for this game. Currently, I am a theater student who enjoys playing many video games and watching many anime in my free time. I think I fit an okay person to do voice acting, right? Yeah, you were awesome. Feel free to contact me through my email for anything, and again, thanks for playing. That's really cool, because the way you stutters and made that stutter happen, it sounded really good. I'm Adam McMillan, the voice of Robert Hayes. Congratulations on beating the Hanged Man. I had so much fun with this character and getting to experience the way his personality unfolded. I'm an aspiring voice actor and I've been able to be a part of other projects such as Pokemon The True Abridged series, Beyond School, and a new project called In The Flesh. I also upload YouTube videos at youtube.com slash thatchannel90. Hope you had a good time. Okay, I'm not gonna include all of that in the description because then it would be like this big of a list, but you can just search it up by watching. Hi. Uh, I guess I'm back. Hi. Serene Harper, reporting for Juicy. Uh, congratulations on clearing the hangman. I hope you had a brilliant time playing it. Mary has been working really hard in this game, so let's all congratulate her on finishing it. And for wrapping up the Strange Men series with a big round of applause. Yay! <laughs> I really wasn't expecting Helena to reappear in this game, boss. Here she is. Harry messaged me a few months ago asking if I could voice Helena again, and to be honest, I was quite surprised. I sincerely thought that her role ended in The Boogeyman, and technically it did. Harry did tell me she'd only have a few lines, but I was more than okay with it. I just didn't expect it to be like that. You could have given me a forewarning that the parents would be flirting so I could have avoided getting embarrassed, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> I can still feel my face burning. I blame you. Uh, I don't have much to say. I think I've run my mouth enough on my TPM message. I guess I can tell you guys what I've been up to. I've started working on my own games. Five of them, in fact, interchangeably because I love being miserable. <laughs> but it won't be out for a long time as I'm extremely busy with everything else. Uh, three of them are visual novels, while the other two are being made using the RPG Maker 1005 engine. Two of them are silly, while the rest are rather heavy and full of misery and horror, kinda. I might so, check them out. Yep. Anyway, enough of that. Congratulations once more on finishing The Hanged Man, and I hope you enjoyed the Strange Men series altogether. I know I did. Send tons of love and praises her his way, she definitely deserves them. That's all spoiler rotten. <laughs> Anyways, you guys know where to find me. For those who don't, my Twitter handle is Serene Harper because I'm creative that way. <laughs> it's way too happy. Take care always and catch you later. And the last one being Keith. What's up guys, how y'all doing? It's me, it's your best friend, Blue Neon Light Show, back to voice Keith from the last game, The Boogeyman. You can just call me Neon for short. I heard Keith was going to be in the next game after we finished the Boogeyman, but I wasn't expecting it to be so soon. And a big a role surprise too. if you ask me. It was enjoyable <clears throat> to voice Keith once again, albeit a ton of lines to record and whatnot, but hey, that's part of the fun, right? Anyway, congratulations on beating the Hangman and getting to the secret ending. Go around and see what the other voice actors have to say. They certainly deserve the credit just as much as anyone. And oh, that I pretty guess I should oh. also mention how to get in touch with me, right? I'll just leave my contacts here. Fair warning, I'm horrible at keeping in touch, but you can always trust me to eventually get back to you, even if it is within a month. <laughs> anyway, enjoy. And that pretty much wraps it up. So that's all there's left is the bad ending. Um, to be fair, there will be a second play, like right there. Um, in the bad endings video as well because I just played them on my second ending because I didn't have the time to replay all of it again and again and again and again and again so I just made multiple save files and whatnot so but that will uh, you will see that in the next video it will just say second play but it doesn't change anything if it's just for bad endings but that pretty much wraps it up um, the only one I skipped uh, a little bit was over there but you can just pause it and read it if you want 
But yeah, thanks to Yuri for making this, this great game. Amazing ending, I love it. And um, yeah, my final thoughts will probably be in the next video or whatnot. But anyway, this was an amazing game. And all there's left is the bad endings, which you will see in the next one. So this was Dast with the Hangman, with the good ending, the second good ending. Thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.